Good morning! So today we are going to make a cinnamon dolce syrup for the DIY. Um, I used to have tons of syrups and I broke that frother and by I, I mean, okay guys, this is seriously what happened. I had another one of these guys, right? And my husband and my oldest daughter decided that it was a good idea to use this in a, like, a tub that they were playing with, like, My Little Ponies and water and stuff. Hot summer day, cool, play with water. They used my frother to go fishing for ponies, guys. Seriously. <laughs> so it was trashed. And then I just, it took me forever to replace it. And I burnt through some of my syrups. I have a little bit of caramel syrup left. So I want to find a DUI for that one. But the cinnamon dolce, I love cinnamon, and it's going to make the house smell so nice. And it's super easy, and it doesn't take too long to make. So we're going to whip it up, let it cool, and then we're going to make a latte with it. All right, so I'm going to pause and just get set up a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so the water was the thing I needed to grab. I've got the cinnamon sticks. So what we're going to do is one and a half cups of water, bringing to a boil. We're going to put three to four, I'm going for four, because I love my cinnamon, sticks of cinnamon and break them in half, and we're gonna steep it in boiling water for about 10 minutes. So I'll get that started, and then afterwards, we're gonna add anywhere from one and a half, it should be like equal parts-ish. I mean, um, it's a simple syrup with flavor, really. When you're making a simple syrup, you just mix the water and the sugar together, bring it to a boil, and it thickens up a bit, right? So, um, yeah. I'll get the water boiling. Let's get started. I'm so excited. This is going to be delicious. There's our one and a half cups of water in my grubby stove that needs a good clean. Okay, turn my stove off. And this is four sticks of cinnamon broken in half. And we're just going to let that steep for 10 minutes. And we'll come back, take those out, and add the sugar. Okay, I ended up bringing it back up to boil just for, I don't know, 30 seconds, because these are older cinnamon sticks, and I think it should be a deeper color. So, I'm sure your cinnamon sticks won't be two years old in your pantry like mine were. And I'll spill this all over the stove. <laughs> anyway, it smells amazing. I'm probably going to just put these cinnamon sticks back in um, I have a pot that I boil things like this, especially in the winter time, just to make the house smell pretty. So I think I'm gonna throw a half an apple and these cinnamon sticks in and do just that. Okay, so I've got about a cup and a half of brown sugar there. And the fancy little whisk. So I'll dissolve that and we'll let it sit again. Okay, I think it's dissolved. Yeah, I'm scooping on the bottom. I'm not picking anything up. So we'll toss this into a jar. There's so many of these gem jars. Ooh. Just makes it perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cool for a bit. Let's see if I can't hand it to my hot, hot coffee. So we'll get on that latte next. But first, I'm going to set you guys back up on my tripod and chitty chat for a minute. Okay, guys, that was super easy. It took a little over 10 minutes to water four sticks of cinnamon broken in half, bring that water to a boil, let the cinnamon sticks steep. Ended up turning it up at the end because it doesn't look very rich. My cinnamon sticks are kind of old. You can hear my small demon in the background there. She keeps calling for her sister who's not even in the house. <laughs> um, yeah, so just boil the water, cinnamon sticks, let it steep for 10 minutes. Again, yours will probably be a little bit newer. Mine were older, so I brought it up to boil for a little bit at the end. Um, and then took the sticks out and added an equal amount of brown sugar. And it dissolved really quick because the water was hot. Got it in this little... Oh, that's hot. In my little gem jar. I love these jars. And... I'm gonna make a latte next. So I'll get that poop in a groove and uh, make a latte. And then I gotta head to town and grab a few things. And I'll pop back on later. This will probably be the only, I'll post, I'll edit this and post it as a 
live through StreamYard. Um, <laughs> and I'll be on for the comments and stuff. My internet just sucks way too bad out here to do like actual lives very often. Sometimes I get lucky and I'm like, oh, the internet's good enough. I can do a real live. But I will be live on here for comments and questions and such. But let's give this latte thing a try. I am really needing another coffee. <laughs> Okay, whoops, trip over the kid's stool. So, got some hot milk. I, I used to heat it up on the stove, but I just heat it up in the microwave. I feel like I like lots of foam milk. This is a little much more, usually a little bit further down. Heat it up for a minute and 15 seconds. My belly's getting big. I don't really notice it until I see it like, you know, on camera or something or in the mirror. I'm like, whoa. She's getting huge. A couple more months to go. Oh, my water's boiling. So yeah, it's so easy. I just, in like 30 seconds. And this thing is awesome. Brian and Greg are not allowed to touch it. They sent me a picture of it when uh, I had forgot it at my mom's house when it came in on Amazon. And, uh, so Greg grabbed it from the car and took a picture of Ryan holding it like she was fishing. Yeah. Do we even think about it, you guys? <laughs> this one is sacred. This is Mama's sacred tool. That cleans really easy. I just rinse it off and like turn it on the bottom of the sink. Okay, next. I mix um, this is the collagen. This collagen chicory mix I have on its own. Usually I have about two cups of these a day. <clears throat> and I'll tell you guys why after once I have the coffee. But for the green and the regular chicory, I used to have them separate, but Sandy Daniels, she just mixes them all up in one jar. And I thought I'd try that. So I just put the chicory and the green together because then you get the benefits of both in one cup of coffee. And I usually have two to three a day. Shouldn't have that much while I'm pregnant, but this has reduced caffeine. So two or three coffees. This kind is really only equivalent to one-ish. I'll have to do, actually do those calculations. But seriously, I get no sleep. I have a toddler in the farm. I need a little bit of caffeine. It's my one vice right now. So to get this mixed up, you guys have seen me do this on like the close-up videos that I do. But just two level teaspoons in this little guy here. And then my very fancy pot. This thing is so old, it's starting to fall apart. I'm gonna be so sad. It's just ancient. Yeah. Just whip it up a little bit in here. Not that much. It smells amazing. It smells just like real coffee. I like that it tastes just like real coffee, but it doesn't have that like bitter taste. I've tried so many healthy coffees. The last one that I tried, I literally guys, tasted like steep metal shavings to me. It was disgusting. And I kind of gave up on it. So when we got these in, I'm like, hmm, I don't know if those are actually going to taste good. <laughs> but really, they're really freaking good. Like, the coffee pot is on the top shelf of the pantry. I haven't touched it since, like, I think I made one pot of coffee after I got this. And I'm like, mm, yeah, you know, I'm done. I'm over it. So all I do from here, and you can probably get fancy barista style pouring pretty things, but... I just dump that in, be proactive, and use some more water to rinse my thingy. And ta-da! Done! And we're going to try our new syrup. It's super hot. Now, I don't usually put a lot of sugar in my coffee. I'm not a big sugar person, really. Uh, that's a lie, actually. I would eat all the chocolate. All of it. And the gummies. Sometimes I get chocolate and gummies and hide it from my kids. Don't tell them. The kid listens. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to do, like... A little tiny scoop. Mix it up. Now let's see. It smells good. I could do more. We're gonna do more. You can always add it, but I can't take it away after, right? Oh. I'm gonna do two more scoops. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. It's just a tiny bit of sweet with some cinnamon. I freaking love it. 
I wonder if I could, yeah, next time I'm going to put more cinnamon in it. Like, I want more cinnamon and less sweet. So I think I could hit the cinnamon a little bit harder in my simple syrup. Um, then I can get more cinnamon and just a little bit of sweet. But it's awesome. It was totally worth doing. It took no time at all. And it's delicious. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to head to town, do my errands. And then I'm going to come back with an overnight oat recipe for you guys. Um, I've done a couple of these. I really, really like them. I love overnight oats. They're so easy. The kids are getting sick of them, but I'm like, too bad. <laughs> you can make your own breakfast. It's scrambled eggs or overnight oats most of the time in this house. Um, but I love them. and I love the coffee chocolate one that I make. I'm going to try a banana one tonight, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Let me know what other simple syrups are your favorite, because we can make some different ones. Um, what other flavors do you like in your coffee? What other additives? Like, what makes your coffee fun? Or, yeah, just a black cup of coffee is fine too. I drink that sometimes too. <laughs> sometimes I just don't want anything fluffy in my coffee. And um, I want to leave with a bit of a mindset thing. It is the weekend. Uh, we have a ton to do on this farm in the spring. We're downsizing the farm a lot because I'm pregnant. Greg's going to be working like crazy for the next foreseeable future. Uh, so I can't really do it all with pregnant with a newborn. So we're getting rid of all the pigs, going down to three sheep and six to eight chickens, which is going to be kind of sad. But um, I have the, the kids to keep me more than busy enough and the, the business and everything else that I want to do. I want to get vlogging more and really doing more of the mindset stuff. So um, I want to hear three things that you're grateful for and at least one goal that you have for spring. What's one goal that you have for spring? Mine is to get my greenhouse together. I want to have my greenhouse together and really get some good food growing for my family this year. Um, yeah. Oh, I was going to tell you guys about my arm. I'm sorry. So when I'm pregnant, because I have ankylosing spondylitis, this is a mindset gratitude thing too. Uh, like this, I don't know, I tore my rotator cuff years ago, like when I was welding. And um, when I can't take my anti-inflammatories, which I can't right now, I'm pregnant. Just a second, baby. Like my, I'm, I'm like a T-Rex arm. Like I can't lift it at all if I'm not taking my anti-inflammatories for very long. Like I can go when I'm not having major symptoms. I can go a few days without them, but then it starts to go, right? Anyway, I drank this coffee for four days, the collagen, and I could lift my arm again. After like six days, I can lift a coffee cup again. That was not a thing. Like normally if I'm not taking naproxen like every freaking day or if I'm like, yeah, sometimes I can go down to like two or three naproxens a week if I'm on like a really low inflammation time, but yeah, unheard of. So that, that was a real awesome perk for me. It tastes amazing and it really helps actual symptoms <laughs> that make my life better. But so that's one thing I'm super grateful for and super grateful for uh, my kids, of course. They drive me freaking bananas working from home, but they're so fun. And I have a third one on the way. I don't know how I'm going to survive, but I'm so super grateful for them. And um, I'm grateful for spring and longer, longer days. Um, those last few months of winter, like from like January, February, are so heavy. Like it just drags on. And we had such a cold winter without a lot of snow. So we weren't as well insulated with the snow as we usually are. So that was really crappy. But so I'm grateful for spring. Grateful for my kids and a third one on the way. I always wanted three or four, but we started late. So I'm like, okay, we're done with two. And then surprise, <laughs> she sneaks in. Um, yes, and then my goal is, I'm grateful for my arm being usable. And um, my goal is the greenhouse for the spring. So I want to hear yours. Sending lots of love. Show me your coffees too. I want you guys to post in the comments or if you can post on the wall. Show me your coffees. Share your recipes. Let's have some fun. Lots of love. Bye.